As global demand continues to increase and challenges like workforce shortages persist, automation technology has rapidly advanced to help manufacturers keep pace. How will these operations remain sustainable into the future? How will sustainability continue to evolve the way we view manufacturing in a changing world? DigiKey presents Factory Tomorrow, highlighting the latest innovations across industrial automation. Brought to you by Schneider Electric, Panduit, and SupplyFrame. In this episode, we visit Schneider Electric's Smart Factory in Lexington, Kentucky, a cutting edge showcase for the future of digital manufacturing and a model for others looking to create more sustainable operations. Schneider Electric is a leading provider of energy and automation solutions that contribute to efficiency and sustainability across today's global manufacturing ecosystem. Schneider Electric started their sustainability journey 20 years ago. Sustainability is at the core of everything that we do. It's a shared priority amongst our employees, amongst our customers, our suppliers, and all stakeholders within the company. Sustainability is very important at Schneider Electric. We have been a partner with the Department of Energy Better Buildings, Better Plants program for over 15 years now. We're also an ISO 50001 certification site. We have solutions like power monitoring expert or resource advisor that are very rich, robust tools in our own sustainability toolbox that we're introducing to customers to help them evaluate how they're utilizing energy. It's hard to understand something you don't see. In order to better understand our machines and better to understand our consumption, we are implementing more technology into our facility infrastructure. If they can see it, they can start to fix it. But you can't see it until you have the data behind it. And you generally can't get the data until you have data coming in from some sort of connectivity. So analytics into our HVAC, our boilers, our chillers to kind of understand how much consumption we're having on a daily basis or yearly basis. And we're also tracking new machines, new processes throughout the year to understand that as well. The goal of the smart factory design is to manage flow and reduce waste thereby boosting efficiency and competitiveness. Smart factories modernize pre-existing assets and manufacturing methods by providing the structure for seamless digitization. The facilities accomplish this through the use of industrial IoT technologies that reframe the control, monitoring, and management processes within the factory. Technology methods have changed in the way we connect data sources, stream data sources from our factory floor much easier than it was in the past. The cloud now makes that data accessible by anywhere at any time. The mobility puts it in the hands of our people. All of those fourth industrial revolution technology advancements are the things that we adopt at scale as part of our smart factory program in North America. And that's what affects plants like we have here in Lexington. The most exciting part about the Lexington Smart Factory experience is the technology that we have here. We're currently running pilot program for predictive maintenance programs and also augmented reality programs to help us understand what our machines are actually doing on a daily basis. As new technologies emerged, Schneider's teams realized that traditional siloed data could be made accessible in ways that were both affordable and attainable. All of this was made possible through the Schneider Electric EcoStructure architecture, which brought both cloud and edge computing capabilities for high efficiency connectivity and modern interfaces that could support a mobile workforce. We look for process efficiencies powered by digital solutions. So when we talk to our customers about what they're doing within their facilities or how we can help them decarbonize, what their journey looks like, we're introducing solutions like building management systems, like variable frequency drives, like power monitoring. Artificial intelligence, machine learning gives us the capability to look at our historical volumes, our historical demand. It gives us the ability to forecast future demand. When we communicate that forecasted future demand to our suppliers, they have the ability to adjust their capacity ahead of time and make our supply chain more resilient. When we effectively combine technologies like IIoT for streaming, the signals that describe the process that's taking place, and we couple that with higher order analytics, specifically machine learning, I think we're not only going to gain the ability to recognize trends and anomalies in how we're wasting energy, but we're going to have the possibility of optimizing the process automatically. The lessons learned from Schneider Electric's Smart Factory transformation translate directly into new innovations 
which they provide to their customers through their partnership with DigiKey. DigiKey has traditionally been an electronics company. So we've traditionally serviced people manufacturing things with electronics in it. With automation, we're actually reaching anybody manufacturing anything. And so it gives us the ability to service a whole new set of customers. Ultimately, our goal is to have everything the customer needs to put in an automation project. It's getting easier and easier to automate. So they want to try new things and they want to see what they can invent that they couldn't have even thought of last week. As we move manufacturing into the location where the product's going to be delivered, you get some additional efficiencies because you don't have the supply chain issues, you don't have the transportation issues. So I think a lot of the trends have been towards getting manufacturing regionally while still leveraging their global purchasing ability. From a design standpoint especially, people are future-proofing things. They're making sure that if there are supply chain disruptions in the future, they won't be as badly affected as it happened this time. You can't manage what you can't measure. Uh, that goes back to our analytics programs, our predictive maintenance tools, our analytic tools. We've pledged to be carbon neutral by 2025, net zero in our operations by 2030, and then net zero across our entire supply chain by 2050. We're heavily involved in a lot of industry organizations that try and look at the future and try and figure out what's coming next. And I think the one thing that we all agree on in that space is that the job that's gonna exist or be popular in the next five to 10 years probably doesn't exist at all right now. The fun part is just waiting around and, and, and watching to see what's gonna come up. Forward-thinking manufacturers integrate state-of-the-art technology to meet rising demand. This approach represents a beacon for other producers in the industry, allowing them to address current and future challenges on the path towards factory tomorrow.